Hi, it's Sherry from A Quilting Life, and today I'm here to share with you a tutorial to make a pineapple quilt block. And in today's tutorial, we're going to use the pineapple trim tool ruler. It makes it super simple and easy to make this fun quilt block. If you haven't yet, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel by clicking below. And now let's get started. Okay, so the pineapple block looks really complicated, but it's really not. And it's made even easier by using this pineapple trim tool ruler, which I love. This ruler will actually make pineapple blocks in three different sizes, six inch finished, eight inch finished, and 10 inch finished. And you can see there's a lot of little squares and little lines, and I'm gonna walk you through it today and show you how to use this ruler. I've got some strips that we're gonna use for um, the edges around the block. I've got some wider strips that we're gonna use for the very last step. That's the only place these wider strips will be used. And then I've got center squares and background fabric. And so I'm just gonna get started and show you how to make the pineapple block. The first step that you're going to do is you're going to sew background strips to either side of a center square. And once you've pressed those out, you're gonna sew two more strips. So you're gonna have a little square unit like this. And this is the point at which you will make your first trim. Now, you're going to use the ruler and there's a little square that says centering square round one. And you're gonna line that square up and you are going to trim. And you'll notice that there is a quarter inch seam allowance built into the ruler. So you're not gonna cut off any points. And you're just gonna turn the block and you're gonna actually do four cuts. Using this ruler ensures that you don't have to cut any triangles or sew with any triangles. You're, cut, you're sewing with all straight pieces of fabric and using the ruler to do the work for you. Okay, so that's step one and you've got your little square and the next thing you're going to do is you're going to decide on fabrics that you want to sew around the different edges. And you can mix and match the colors however you want, um, but we're basically just gonna sew strips to two sides and strips to another two sides. And I have that already done for you. Right here. Okay, so you can see I just sewed, I took my center unit and I took the squares and I just sewed strips all the way around. Okay, so now we're ready to make our second trim and we're going to use, on the opposite side of that first square that we used, we're going to use centering square round two. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna line up that centering square with our square and this time we get to do cut two sides at a time. So you're gonna cut that side and that side. Sometimes it's a little tough to go over those seams. And then we're gonna flip our block and we're gonna cut the remaining two sides. Okay, so this is our unit after trimming after the second round. And now you can probably guess we're gonna use background strips. We're gonna sew background strips to all four sides. And I've already done that. And so this is what it looks like at this point. And now we are going to trim again. And this time the trimming is just a little bit different Sometimes you use the squares and sometimes you will be using this 45 degree angle trim line. 
And so this time we're going to use the angle trim line. And we're going to line that up. with each of those seams. So we'll be making <clears throat> four cuts on this one. Okay, so now you can see our pineapple block is starting to take shape. We've gone from a simple center square to this point, to this point, and now it's time to add colors around the edges again. Okay, so I sewed those colored strips on and we're gonna trim again. We're going to use centering square round four for this trim. And flip the block and use centering square round four. Okay, and then as you might guess, the next step is to sew light colored strips around the edges. And I've already done that. And so for this one, we're gonna trim with our 45 degree angle trim line again. And so that's four different cuts, lining up that, that 45 degree line with that seam. And if you, if you buy the ruler, there are directions as well, but sometimes um, looking at their diagrams, it's not as easy as watching it in real life. Okay, so we've got that step accomplished and it's time for colored strips again. And I've got that ready to go to show you. And so we're going to trim these and we're going to use the centering square round six. Okay, so just turn that until you've got centering round six lined up. We're gonna trim two sides. And we're going to flip it and we're going to trim the final two sides. And at this point, we're ready to do the last steps to complete our block. Now, I mentioned before that this ruler will make a six inch blocks, an eight inch block and a 10 inch block. I'm making the eight inch block and um, we would have actually not put on these last two rounds if we had been making the six inch block. Um, but the ruler instructions tell you where to stop depending on what size block you want to make. Now, this is the point where we're going to use these, these wider strips that I showed at the beginning of the video. First, we're going to trim using our angle tr tool, angle line, um, on those strips that we just added. This is to get the block completely to the correct size before adding those final pieces. Okay, so it's just a little trim, but it makes a difference. Um, and so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add these, they call them dog ears in the ruler instructions. And so we're gonna add these to the four outer edges. And we're just gonna put them right sides together and sew a seam for all four of these and then we'll come back and make the final trim for our block. Okay, so I've sewed on those wider strips that we refer to as the dog ear pieces. I've sewed those on, I've pressed them out and we're gonna do the final trimming. We're gonna use that centering square round six again And what this trimming actually does, you'll notice the edges of the block actually naturally will line up with the ruler there. 
And so basically what we're doing is we're trimming these dog ear pieces to make the final edges of our block. So you're really, when you're cutting, you're actually only cutting those dog ear pieces. Then we'll do the other side. And you can see it just, the block's already to size, it just needed the corners. Okay, and so there we have a perfect pineapple block. Everything's straight and lined up. It's the perfect size, and the ruler just makes it super simple. It helps if you have a bunch of strips all cut up and ready to go. Um, so you can chain piece if you're making a lot of different blocks. Um, but that's how you use the pineapple trim tool ruler to make the pineapple block. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial for the pineapple block using the pineapple trim tool ruler. It's a really fun block to make and the ruler just makes it so much more simple. And I do have a pineapple quilt also in Sunday Best Quilts. It's my cover quilt right here. And I did use the ruler to make this quilt. So I'll link the book and the ruler in the details below so that you can get that. If you haven't subscribed already, be sure to subscribe to the channel and thanks so much for stopping by.